Welcome guys, so in the previous video I explained you how to create a display function for your program on linked list and in this video I will show you how to create a function to insert nodes at the beginning of a linked list. Now adding a node at the beginning of a list simply means adding a node at the start of the list and if I add a new node in this list then the new node will be added here at the start and that node will become the first node in this list. Now first go ahead and declare a function to add a node at the beginning of the list and the name of my function is addBeg and this function takes an argument of type struct node and it's a pointer and this int num this variable num will store the integer value or information you want to store in the info part of a node now this function is of type struct node pointer now just as a function can be of type int a function can be of type float and a function can also be of type int pointer which returns a pointer value specifically of type int pointer in the same way a function can be of type struct node pointer and this function will return a pointer value specifically of type struct node and you will understand this in a while that why this function is of type struct node pointer this printf statement will just display a message to the user that enter to for adding a node to an empty list or add a node at the beginning of the list now i need to create case 2 to add a node and this printf statement will just display a message to the user that enter the number you want to store in the info part of a node i need to declare a variable num of type int and this scanf statement will allow the user to enter a number he wants to store in the info part of a node. This is just a function call. If the user enters 2 as a choice, then addBack function will be called with argument start and num. If the linked list is empty, then start will be equal to null. And if the linked list contains nodes, then start will store the address of the first node and num will store the integer value you want to add into the node now because this function addBag returns some value we need something to catch the returned value so start here will catch the returned value from the addBag function and it will be clear to you after a while that why we need to pass start as an argument here and why this function needs to return a value now I'm going to create the add back function now I need some pointer variable to store the address of the node that will be created so I declare a new pointer variable named temp of type struct node that will store the address of the node that will be created now nodes of a linked list are created using malloc function malloc function allocates memory for a node and this is the format of the malloc function some pointer variable data type name of the function size of then data type and data type here is struct node and temp is a pointer variable now malloc function allocates memory so it returns the address of that memory location and that address is the address of the node that is created and that address is assigned to the pointer variable and here temp will store the address of the node that will be created now temp arrow operator which is a combination of hyphen sign and greater than symbol info equals to now temp means the new node that will be created and suppose this is the node that is created now temp arrow operator info means the info part of this node and suppose the user enters 20 as the number to be stored in the node then 
20 will be stored in the info part of this node. Now this arrow operator can be used to access any part of the node whether it's info part or the link part. In other words, this arrow operator is used to access members of the structure using a pointer. Info and link are members of the structure and temp is a pointer. Now these two are important statements for this function. Now this function adds a node to an empty list or adds a node at the beginning of the list. Now if the add back function is called then it will be called with the value of start and num. Now if the list is empty then value of start will be null. So in that case null will be passed in this function and start here will be initialized with null. Now if the list is empty and you add a node at the beginning of the list then the newly created node which is temp will be the first node in the list and will also be the last node in the list and the link part of the last node should always be null so this needs to be null. Temp arrow operator link means link part of this node and the value of start is null because remember if the list is empty then null will be passed here as an argument and start will be initialized with null so the value of start is null so null will be assigned to link part of this node so link part of this node will become null because temp arrow operator link means link part of this node now this node temp is also the first node in this list and it is a property of a link list that start always stores the address of the first node in the list and at this point till this statement the value of start is still null and we need to update the value of start to store the address of the first node in the list. Now temp has the address of this node. Now suppose the address of this node is 1002 then 1002 will be assigned to start. Now start stores the address of the first node in the list and this link list is now complete. Now I need to return the value of start and the returned value will be assigned to this start pointer variable in the main function and start in the main function will be updated with the new value of start and the previous value of start in the main function was null so we need to update the value of start in the main function and remember this start pointer variable is a local pointer variable of the main function and this start variable is a local pointer variable of the addback function and going by this example the value of start is 1002 so 1002 will be returned and the value of start in the main function will be updated and the next time any function is called from the main function let's say the user again enters 2 as a choice and this add back function gets called then this function will be called with the new updated value of start and not the previous incorrect value of start. Now this was an example where the link list was empty and add back function was called to add a node. Now suppose the link list is not empty. The link list contains some nodes and add back function is called to add a node. Then the new node will be added at the beginning of the list at the start and two things needs to be done. The first thing is that the link part of this new node should store the address of its next node which is this. And this node is the first node in this list. So start should now store the address of the first node in the list and suppose the address of this node is 1009. So start should now store the address of first node in the list. 
So whenever a node is added at the beginning of the list, then that node becomes the first node in the list and the value of start needs to be changed or updated. Now I am continuing with this example. Now initially the link list was empty and then the add back function was called to add a node. Now let's say again the add back function is called and this time the link list is not empty. Now this time add back function will be called with the new value of start that was previously returned. And previously, according to this example, 1002 was returned, which is the address of the first node in this list. Now, let's say the user enters 55 as the number to be stored in the node. Now, the values of start and num will be passed in this function. And start here will be initialized with the value of start that is passed by this function call. And according to this example, the value of start is 1002. Now all this code will get executed. This statement will allocate memory for a node. This statement will store a number in the info part of the node. Suppose the number is 55 entered by the user. Now these three important statements. Now Suppose the address of the new node that is created is 1005 and its temp. Now the value of start is 1002 that was passed by this function call to this function. So the value of start is 1002 and 1002 will be assigned to temp arrow operator link and temp arrow operator link means link part of this node so this should be 1002 and now this node stores the address of its next node now because this is the first node in the list and previously this was the first node now this is the first node in the list and start should store the address of this node because this is the first node in the list so start equals to 10 address of this node which is temp is 1005 so 1005 will be assigned to start now start stores the address of the first node in the list now the value of start has changed so the value of start should be returned so that it is updated in the main function now the value of start according to this example is 1005 so 1005 will be returned to the main function and will be assigned to this start pointer in the main function. So the value of start in the main function will be updated or changed to the new value of start. Now if again any function is called from the main function, suppose this add back function is again called, then it will be called with the new updated value of start. Now passing the value of start is also important because start is the only way we can access the link list because only start knows the address of the first node in the list and if we don't know the address of the first node in the list then we cannot access the link list. So start you can say is the entry point into the link list. I forgot to put a break statement here. Now this add back function is complete. I can show you the output of add back function now. Compile and run. Now initially the list will be empty. Now display, it should show 20 and then 15. Now add another node. Now 25 should be at the first place because 
This function adds a node at the beginning of the list. Now 45 should be at the first place because this function, as I said, adds a node at the beginning of the list. So this was a video on how to add a node at the beginning of a list. And in my next video, I will show you how to add a node at the end of a linked list. So that's all for now and thanks for watching.